we think of breast cancer as a, as a disease right from the day of diagnosis, not just a lump in the breast. If we see the lump, we find it to be a cancer, an invasive cancer being the most common type. We want to be sure that that cancer uh, hasn't traveled to other areas of the body. We use two kinds of treatments to go through the body after the initial treatment of breast cancer. Uh, we sometimes use chemotherapy, and that is a, uh, our medications that stop cells from dividing. So if a cell did wander away, the chemotherapy can take care of it before it gets anybody into trouble. We also use hormone therapy. Nowadays, our chemotherapy programs are much shorter than they used to be. It could be three months to six months at the most after surgery. Uh, the treatments are much better tolerated than they were in the old days. We have very good medicines to help women with the chemotherapy. What they hate is a side effect that we haven't figured out much of the time, and that is losing their hair. If we could figure out chemotherapy that didn't make them lose their hair, it really would be much easier and much easier for them to accept. We tell our patients to expect to lose their hair between the 17th and the 25th day after the first treatment. Nobody's ready for that. Uh, but when it does happen, they face up to it. Most of the women will have a wig. Some of the younger women will just use a scarf and some earrings, and they get through it. it after about three to four months after the last treatment, most of the women are out of the wig and into a short, curly haircut and eventually it grows back to whatever hair that they had before the treatment.